Why are you screaming? I'm looking for that one magical duck call. There's 40 calls right behind you that covers every range of duck sound. Cy si has this fetish for taking already existing calls. Hey, I'm trying to create a new call, boys. Disassembling them and building his own calls using the different parts. That's all he's doing. I'm gonna finally make one, and let me tell you, when they hear it, just they slam on the brakes, and I mean, they come just sliding down in the decoy. Side si, ducks don't have brakes. Oh, yeah, they have oh, brakes. They got wings. Hey, if I hit the right duck hole, okay, the magic one, oh, they'll have brakes. He believes there's a call out there that he can assemble. It will hypnotize, mesmerize, and paralyze all the ducks that hear it. The holy grail of duck calls, when you blow it, they would literally fall out of the skies. <laughs> See how sweet that is? When I had Dan Willie be working with me. Hey, oh. you got a sweet talk them, boys. Sweet oh. talk them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, mail call. OK. When did you start getting packages back here? Well, I asked one of my buddies to hook me up since we got this big turkey. Look at that. Like a turkey in a box. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you for a second, it took my breath away. He come out of there and lie. <laughs> I'm a novice, so I need to hone my skills in the area of turkey hunting. I think I got it now. Because just between us, turkeys taste way better than ducks. Hey, this is a bunch of crap. I'll make my own here. And hey, they won't be able to stand it. They will come running. Let's go hunt, Si. What do you think, sir? These circles are sleep now. Oh, I know. Hey, they're, they're one of the smartest animals there is. I'm a little nervous about Cy going with me. I know he knows nothing about turkey hunting. A gobbler's like a big grizzly bear. But Cy's not going to tell you that. That sucker stands about four foot tall when he's looking around. Cy, there ain't no turkey stand four foot oh, tall. Yeah. Hey, Jace don't know what he's talking about. Any animal can get big, boys. Hey, once I went down to pet a little dog, and when I did, hey, it was a five-pound squirrel. I think this is perfect. We can get them to come right down to this gap right here. Set our decoys out right there. You know, I'm a one-woman type of guy, but one of the privileges you get from hunting is you get to be involved in the mating process, putting out the vibes. Let's see if anybody else wants a little action. We want to see those thunder legs running toward our ladies of the evening. I mean, we are creating our own red light district in the woods. We're open for business. Hey, 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 hey. What is that? This is the Duck Commander Turkey Special. I'm trying to play the tunes of Barry White to these turkeys. He's blaring the kill the puppy music. You know, the hard rock. Kill the puppies. Oh, why do you always try to come up with a magic call? Magic works wonders. Cy si thinks he's a ladies' man. Obviously, he's not. Does it work? I'm telling you, you need to leave the romance to me. When you make love talk, you got to be sweet and gentle. <laughs> That's a flirtatious sound. Come here, buddy. I'll take care of you. You need to make a yelp on that thing. I don't like no yelping woman. I want my woman to purr like a little kitty cat. In life, what I've gathered is that a blaring female is always a deterrent. I'm, I'm purring, because in any relationship, purrs are good. We're setting the stage for romance. This is date night. It just so happened, I'm a <laughs> So, you know. Like a little kitty cat. <laughs>